Grace and Joy family, I'm Destiny, and today's Monday morning manna moment comes out of Joshua chapter 3, verses 6 through 7. Here we see in this passage the Israelites going through a transition in their lives. And that's what we're going to learn about today how to transition in life. We see that Joshua was commanded to have the Ark of the Covenant go before them. And the promise that the Lord gave him was that today he would be exalted in the eyes of the people and that just as he was with Moses, he would be with Joshua. Now this was a command and instruction for the entire Israelite community. Everyone was called to lay everything on the line and they were to go in the direction of the dangerous Jordan River. Now it was dangerous because there was mudslides and seasonal flooding. And once you were in, there was no way of escape. Do you have any transitions that you're facing in life this morning? That's wrought with danger, maybe some hardship. Well, from this passage, we can learn a few things. One is that God will be with you. If you've received a word from the Lord and He is commanding you to step out in faith, you can trust that He is with you in that transition. Whether it's in the realm of school, home, relationship, maybe you're transitioning from undergrad to graduate school or from one city to another, whatever your Jordan River is, the Lord Jesus is with you. And you, similarly to Joshua, can receive comfort from the Word of God. However, another thing to note here is that their miracle did not happen until they stepped out in faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things unseen. Many times we're not going to see it when God calls us to a Jordan River. When He calls us to transition, we are not going to have the clear picture. But we can trust in God and move by faith, knowing that if He gave us the Word, we can move forward, we can wait on God, and we can watch Him make a way out of no way. So today, as you ponder this passage in the Word of God, think about what transitions He's calling you to, and think about how you can exercise your faith in God and choose to trust Him as you move forward in life. Let us pray. Father God, thank you, Lord, so much for who you are. We thank you, Lord, for your word. We thank you, Lord, that in every season, no matter what we're going through, no matter what transition we are headed towards or what transition we're coming out of, Father, that you are the same God that has promised to be with us. So I pray now, Father, for all of us, Lord, that you would give us wisdom and guidance, give us the faith, God, and help us trust you. And Lord, Give us testimonies of your faithfulness as we obey you. Lord, bless this day and bless this week. We praise you for it. We give you all the glory and all the honor and all of the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a blessed day.